I can't believe I'm doing this. Wow, you can see how big Petey Piranha's head is from here. Okay, so today I'm on Cat Peach. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe she's actually a real character in this game. Uh, so anyway, today I'm gonna be playing all of these female characters, Cat Peach, Female Villager, and Inkling Girl. And these characters all have the same stats. They got buffed in the last patch, so they're a lot better now than they were before. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna take a look and see how good they are, because they are good, right? But these three characters are not optimal and are not contenders for best. And the reason, um, I explain in another video, but it has to do with the speed and mini turbo stats. So, uh, oh, oh, um, let me try this. Yes! I hit the bomb car! Oh, and then I messed up because I was so focused on that. <laughs> oh, don't get trailed. Uh, so this combo is missing, uh, I think it was, I can't remember, I think it was either mini turbo or speed. I think it's missing speed compared to uh, the combos that are like slightly better than this one, which would be like Tanuki Mario, which I think is kind of supposed to be the, the male version of Cat Peach in terms of stats. And it's very interesting, like a lot of the male characters in this game, if you look at, oh, if you look at them versus their female equivalent, it's kind of just not fair, like the males are just better. Like if you look at Toad versus Toadette, Tanuki Vario versus uh, Cat Peach, uh, the, the only thing is like Peach is very good. So like, oh my god, oh no, Mario is not necessarily better than Peach. They're both pretty much optimal, but yeah, once you get into the lower tiers, it kind of it's kind of just like that. Baby Mario is better than Baby Peach. It's it's just kind of unfair. So I'm glad this tier got buffed, but uh, the the male versions of these characters also got buffed. Wait, wait, are these? I never noticed that. Are these boost panels different on each lap, or are they like randomized or something? Oh, couldn't get them. <sighs> so yeah, now we can actually play Cat Peach and only say I'm one stat behind. I mean, maybe I would have gotten second place if my stats weren't so bad. Today, I'm just gonna be using each of these buffed uh, female characters in the same weight class. I'm not choosing them because they're female, I'm choosing them because they uh, have almost the same stats. I'm, where's, okay, I thought there was another item box. So, uh, I, and I'm gonna be using them each four times to see how good I think they are. Oh no, I went too far. Oh, I don't think I've ever messed up that shortcut. A lot of people have asked me, hey, is this shortcut still possible? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, it's just that if you go too far to the right, then the game will not let you do the shortcut. Uh, Lakitu will just pick you up and say, nope, you did the shortcut a little bit wrong, sorry. There's no visual indicator as to how to do the shortcut correctly. You just have to not go too far to the right. So uh, experiment with that. And pretty sure you can do the shortcut with a star as well. If I see item boxes, I will chain, but otherwise I'll just keep these items because I need the star for the shortcut. Okay, here we go, item boxes. I can just grab one right here. <laughs> That was so sad. Okay, there we go. Blue shell. Oh no! Okay, so the reason I used the blue shell right at that moment was because everyone was right in front of me and I wanted to hit them. But... But it went over the lake, which I was not anticipating. So scary, everyone's near me. Ah, what? Someone just landed on my head! This Yoshi sports coupe player? Oh, well, okay, you might be wondering, hey, how did you survive that? How can you survive that? Well, you might be thinking it has to do with Cat Peach being a cat and having nine lives, but Cat Peach is not a real cat. It's just, it's just Peach in a cat costume. But uh, what you probably don't know is the cat costume is not soft and furry as it looks. It is very hard like a helmet. So that's how I was able to survive that one. Short Cat is a real cat, but Cat Peach is not. I, I can try to snipe with a boomerang, but that's way too risky. So we'll just take second place. You know, I, I'm missing one point of a stat, so I should never, ever, ever expect to get first place, right? That's that's just how it works. If you're not optimal, you <laughs> you don't get to win. I'm pretty sure that color is supposed to be pink gold, and it's just like brown. I'm on the streetle, <laughs> which has great water speed and traction. Unfortunately, both of those do not apply on this track, so I probably will not get first place. I am missing stats. And as we all know, stats are the most important thing in this game. Also looking cute. Uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm still using the red rollers. I couldn't really find anything to, to like match. I guess I could have used sponge tires to match the streetle, but uh, I chose red rollers because I was going for matching Cat Peach. And uh, I guess red is the closest thing we have to pink. 
Yeah, I, I never realized we don't actually have pink tires in this game, which is really unfortunate. Okay, I need a good race here. I want to get a first place to show everyone that Cat Peach is totally viable. Oh, did this per is this person getting lapped? If I threw my red shell, would it hit them? I'm not risking it. Okay, we have a decent lead here, but it is- Oh, what? Oh, I think- I think last place threw it, and it went for 11th place. Oh, that's so funny. I thought that red shell was coming for me. But I think we now have conclusive proof that uh, Nintendo's patch notes have lied to us. Because they said that uh, the red shells only show up if they're coming for you. And clearly that is just not true. I mean, we saw it right there. Okay, I'm probably getting second place again. This sucks. And it's all because of the blue shell. Oh, oh! No, I, I might win. Okay, I missed the trick, but we're good, we're good, okay. Okay, nice, nice, we gotta win! <laughs> That's all it took! Wow, turns out you can win when you're missing one point of a stat. This is shocking news to competitive players all over the world. Yes, pick the rubber duck! Nice, pipe frame also has water speed, so now I- That sucks. <laughs> Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. It, but it's okay, I might be able to win. I have the I have the water speed advantage on this track, and there's so much water on this track. This might be one of the tracks with the most water, actually. Come on, land here. Oh! Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. I'm getting better at that. So I can charge a mini turbo. Oh, I want to try a shroomless shortcut right here. Oh, there's no point, I have a mushroom. I'll just... Oh, how many times? If you guys have seen my other times I've played Squeaky Queen Sprint... What? Every single time I make it through the ring and just miss the item box. Like, that that should be- I bet if I tried to do that- You know what, next time I'm gonna just try and do that, and it probably won't happen. Okay, so this is cool. I hate the bottom path with how slippery it is, but if you take that shortcut, then it's all good. Made up a lot of time there. Okay, good. Got out of the middle of the road. Sometimes you want to stay out of the middle of the road because people will toss their items. Oh, okay. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, I couldn't start a drift. <laughs> All you want to do on that sponge is start a drift, and then you can start charging it the whole time you're falling. Okay, cool. Got the item box. Alright, and let's do that. Bonk! I think when you bonk, the wind doesn't affect you as much. I'm not sure, but I've seen the world record do it, so I'm just going to assume that bonking there is actually a good thing. Trick? Nope. Ooh, a lot of people here. I'm not going to use my mushrooms. Let's take an alternate path. I've never gone up here. Oh, hey, Mario knows about this path, too. Oh, that's cool. There's a boost panel. Oh, wow. You can trick off... Whoa. They put a lot of care into this track in particular. <laughs> Out of all the way five tracks. Okay, cool, cool. I'm kind of getting better at that. I don't think that's exactly how you're supposed to do it, but I I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> Item. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is so scary. This entire section is just death. How are you supposed to get through that without getting hit? Okay, yeah, see, the wind affected me. It really affected me there, uh, because I didn't bonk the wall. So that probably is a real thing. Trick? Yes, that's my first time doing that. Okay, fourth place. You know what? I got hit so many times. I did get to take advantage of my underwater speed. I didn't mess up too many times, so I'm really happy with that race. Still not good at this track, though. I will need more practice. We got Female Villager on Mr. Scooty! This is one of my favorite characters in this game. Uh, if she had more optimal stats, I would use her more often. Not gonna lie. <gasps> no! Stay up! Okay, good. That sent me forward. Alright, that, that wasn't too bad. But I'm in the back now, so I'm gonna try and go for coins. Wow, nobody's going for coins. I mean, it's not really faster to go for coins, but... If I'm in the back, I, like, I want to be at the back, or I want to be at the, at the front. I don't want to be in the middle of the pack. Be, like, I'm not even going to take the shortcut, because look at all those items right in front of me. Like, I would I would be getting hit by all of those. Okay, let's take an item here. And do this shortcut, and we're probably back in the front. Yeah, we're in second place with triple mushrooms. Okay, I can't pass first place with my triple mushrooms, so we're just going to happily be in second right now. Try not to get trailed either. Oh, that was great shock timing. I mean, <laughs> my mushrooms are gone, but that was great. And I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be in first after this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, but I, I grow first. You know what? Ugh, I'm going the other way. Oh no, someone's right behind me. I should have committed to the blue path earlier. I would have gotten an item if I did that. But I'm gonna try and get... Oh, I can't see the item box. Here it is. Okay. Oh no! Ah, Sweet Sweet Canyon is always such a roller coaster of emotions. Look at that. It's just like... <laughs> I, I, I feel like you're never safe on Sweet Sweet Canyon. I don't know... I have red shells. Why oh, you gotta throw it? Okay, okay. They didn't throw it. Just want to make sure, like, I can't use these mushrooms if there might be red gels behind me. Oh, what? I'm back at the front again? This is crazy. I'm going this way. Okay, I have mushrooms, though, so I can take this cut. Oh, I might be able to win this, actually. Because that shortcut at the end is really... No! Okay, I didn't fall into the hole. I didn't fall into the hole. I still might be able to win this, but probably not at this point. Oh, come on, trail! Yes! Yes! Oh, that was such a close finish! I even got hit! Wow. This is why she's one of my favorite characters. Of course, we have to go full Animal Crossing. So, I'll admit, I'm missing a speed stat or whatever, but I am higher on the cute stat. I think Female Villager is just one of the best designed characters in this game. Like, she's... Her animations, like... The animations, honestly, are such an important part of this game that are a little bit underrated in my opinion. That I think a lot of people really noticed when uh, the Wiggler character joined. And it was like, yeah, we love Wiggler, and the red animation is great when you get hit. But <laughs> it instantly, in one frame, switches back to regular Wiggler, and the arms at the top look dead. <laughs> That's what someone said to me. I mean, I'm not... I don't know. Dead is a little extreme, but... I will say that uh, Wiggler could definitely have had more care put into his design. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh, Female Villager definitely had more than her fair share of design points, and that is just great. You know what, why don't I stay at the item boxes? <laughs> I just wrecked three people. With my- wait, I got that super horn in first place. Oh, that's so funny. If the blue shell came slightly later, I actually would have been able to block it. Oh, that sucks. Let's wreck some people. <laughs> I feel like you gotta find a way to have fun in this game. And if you're, if you're the one getting destroyed, it doesn't feel so good. But if you can also destroy other people, it, it feels good again. You know, the ability to get destroyed in this game is such a double-edged sword. Alright, let's take this shortcut right here. And I don't have to worry about the pipe because I'm in a star. Love that for myself. Ooh, how did I miss? That'll hit. Okay. That's fine, my items sucked anyway. Ooh, stay out of that. Wow, a lot of people had good items. I'm actually happy for that shock. Because no one was close behind me, so they're not going to pass me. Draft, draft. Yes, 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 we're in third place. Yeah, that, that shock helped me so much. Oh, 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 slow down. I have a draft, I couldn't even slow down. Those people right behind me were trying to slow down. Oh, yes! What did you do? Why were you so slow? Okay, okay, come on, come on. No one take the shortcut. Come on. <laughs> yeah! Wow! I did it again! Okay, I will be honest though, the Leaf Tires gives an anti-gravity speed boost, so I wasn't actually lacking in stats in that race. So there you go, I only won because of my stats. Alright, Ribbon Road. I like Ribbon Road. In general, I have quite good results on this track, and I don't think I'm that good at Ribbon Road compared to people who are actually good at Ribbon Road, but I feel like I'm good at Ribbon Road compared to the general population that is around like 14,000 VR, and that's because I, I remember, like, I played on a different account before Shortcut, and uh, I actually was about 12,000 VR was the highest I got to, but it started to stabilize because I wasn't as good as I am now. And uh, what happened was, on Ribbon Road, I'd always go for the shortcut and fail, <laughs> because I feel like I should be able to do it, but I never specifically practiced it, you know? And, and when that's the case, uh, this shortcut is one of the hardest ones in the game. But once you practice it, it, it becomes very, very consistent. So. I feel like that's what I'm up against here. So once I get into the even higher VR level, I should be able to uh, <laughs> prove that I'm actually just kind of average at Ribbon Road. Oh cool, got the double item box. 
Oh, thank God I didn't break the blue shell. Oh, I got another one of these. Okay, break, drift, go off the edge. Oh, that was so scary. Wow, I have these items in first? That is amazing. Oh, I wish my mushroom came first, though, so I could take this shortcut. But I have a big lead, actually. <laughs> this should be fine. I don't even have to look at the uh, the minimap to worry about blue shells. Because, like, it, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Okay, that, that's cool. Right before the item set, I'm fine with that. Okay, mess that up. Just gonna do a normal trick. So I still have blue shell protection and red shell protection. This is great. Loving this. Okay, yeah, see, I have a breakaway. This is kind of what happens on, on Ribbon Road at this level. Oh, Red Shell wasn't coming for me. Ha! Nintendo, patch notes, <laughs> lied to us. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, I, I can safely take this shortcut now. There's no, no, no blue shell that's, I mean, there's a blue shell, but it's not gonna reach me in time. Oh, it might reach me in time. What the heck, invincibility, please. Oh, I was like, I was right at the edge of my invincibility frames. I almost lost that. I actually just won three times in a row with a suboptimal character. I have the cute stat though. All right, <laughs> we have the full Animal Crossing combo. Uh, in my last video, I used uh, Male Villager. Uh, I couldn't decide. My brain couldn't decide quickly enough if I wanted to bag or not. But yeah, full Animal Crossing is uh, optimal with Male Villager, not with Female Villager, but I mean, I do have the cute stat. She's way cuter than Male Villager. I have to be honest. So uh, yeah, th this is um, this is gonna be a tough battle to try and get first place. I want to get all first places with female villager, but that's that's like four in a row. Come on, y you can't control your result in Mario Kart unless you're way better than everyone else in the room. There's nothing you can really do to control your fate. All you have to do is uh, try to get good average placements. But sometimes you luck out and you get uh, a bunch of first places in a row. I mean, if you went and look at the first places, it's not like I dominated all of those. A lot of it was just, I got lucky right at the end. And that's, uh, like, if, if you're getting, like, top four, sometimes you can be like, yeah, that was because I was good. But if you're getting number one, it's usually because you're good and you had to get lucky. All right, so I have triple bananas right behind me, I think. Okay, no, actually, we're, 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 we're good here. I don't have to worry. Okay, shortcut. Ooh, took my mushroom, but that's fine, because you can take this. <gasps> the plant just spawned! I didn't think it was going to. Okay. Try not to get hit here. That's a very common spot to get hit, that entire end turn. All right, so pulling out of first place here is gonna be almost impossible. I have like no coins. And my items aren't good. Oh, this is good. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye higher tiered male character. Hello, lower tiered female character who's actually the best in the game because of the cute stat. Oh, I just realized I'm getting no more items in this race. Because you skipped the final item set to take the shortcut. Okay. No, that didn't block the red shell! Oh, I'm getting destroyed now. Oh no, fire don't hit me, please. That's what I mean. I think I did pretty well, and that's all that matters. Fifth place is just unlucky. So we have Inkling Girl on the Ink Striker. Hey, <laughs> I'm actually so happy that this is one of the optimal combos so that people can go, well, no, 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 sorry. Male Inkling. Inkling Boy is one of the optimal characters. Inkling Girl is not, unfortunately, but uh, I'm just so glad you can at least go a full Splatoon combo and know that it's a good combo because uh, both of the Inklings and the Ink Striker have been buffed in Wave 4 and Wave 5. Not every time, but like, Wave 4 was the Ink Striker and Wave 5 was uh, the Inkling characters. So yeah, I'm really happy that this is one of the best. Now the only thing about Inkling Girl is the fact that she's a squid kind of freaks me out sometimes. Like, the, the way these like, what do you even call these, like tentacles or whatever, flap on her head? <laughs> but I'm just gonna try to ignore it. So uh, I'm front running on Daisy Cruiser, always a good thing because Daisy Cruiser has no shortcuts uh, besides that one that I hope Nintendo patches into this game, oh jeez, uh, in Wave 6. And you know what? I hope they keep patching this game. I hope there's a Wave 7, a Wave 8, basically a booster course pass 2, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take the left path. I think people take the right path more often, so I don't want to get hit by anything. I have no items. And if someone throws a red shell on that path, 
It'll actually just take that path. It's, it, it won't go for me. Okay, I'm gonna use this coin. I need my coins up. Alright, yeah, it's really hard to catch up on this course, so I'm not surprised I've been in first place this entire time. Now, a blue shell could come, and Inkling is not afraid of the squid. <laughs> you know what would be so funny? If uh, the blooper didn't affect Inklings. Because, you know, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense why they should start getting more slippery. Like, they live in the ink. They're, they're part ink. There's ink in their DNA. I, I think they should get a traction boost when the blooper hits them. You know what? I, I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, I'm going splat buggy. I'm going green inkling on the splat buggy. What about it? Uh, so, unlike the rest of the combos I've used, this, I would not say, is one of the best combos for, for Inkling Girl. Uh, the only reason I'm going this is because, well, it, it, it's from Splatoon, right? There's ink? I, I can't actually confirm that, but it probably is. It wouldn't make sense if it wasn't. Anyway, uh... The uh, the stats of this are the same as the Blue Falcon. Similar to Ink Striker, it's got one more speed and one less mini turbo compared to Ink Striker. But other than that, like, it's missing stats all over the place. This is just not a very good vehicle. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't expect to do that well, but it is Yoshi Circuit, which is quite the bagging track. So, uh, we should be okay here as long as... Like, if I start to get hit, I could start bagging. But actually, it's getting a little bit late in the race. Maybe I'll just keep running the whole time. I feel like every time I've played Yoshi Circuit, I've just bagged. Because, like, I get hit at the start or something like that. But this time, I might just try and play it normally. And just run Yoshi Circuit. I mean, you can definitely run this course. It's not like you have to bag on this course. And I have so many mushrooms. What the heck? Oh, this mini turbo takes forever to charge. Compared to the Ink Striker. I mean, it's barely a difference. I'm just complaining for fun. Let's hit that banana. Perfect. That's better than hitting a red shell. So glad that banana was there. That's the optimal way to take that shortcut. Trail. I mean, I mean, draft. Okay, I would not have gotten that draft if I didn't take that shortcut perfectly. And I have two mushrooms. Wow. Okay, couldn't get a purple at any time. I can probably burn a mushroom here safely. A pretty good shortcut. Wow, am I about to get first place running Yoshi Circuit? Usually I try to do the bullet extension for content, but this is great too. <laughs> I'm happy with this. This is a great run. A lot of people don't know this, but when you coordinate your combo like this, then you actually get better items. So I've picked uh, Pink Inkling for a reason here, and also I I'm gonna bag so I can show you this. But you can see the little ink splatter on the carts if you pick the standard cart. This also applies for standard ATV and standard bike. I don't know if it applies for anything else, but out of those, the only really good one is the standard cart. So that's why I'm going this one. Oh, other people bagging too? Yeah, so uh, I really like that design. The only issue is like, it's kind of hard to see from the back. You have to be looking backwards to really see the ink splatter. But yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love when the combos look good, and they are good. So at least one of the standard vehicles can benefit from, uh, ooh, what the heck? <laughs> from, from having the ink splatter look really nice. That piranha plant really just stole my coin. <laughs> All right. So let's take this shortcut again. Can I be in first place, please? Oh, no. What the? I'd rather fall off, honestly. What was that? I think I drifted the wrong way, or didn't get a drift or something. Okay, if I can dodge a shock, though, that will make up for it. Ooh. Okay, no shock dodge. Yeah, I had to do it to him. They <laughs> snipe me anyway! Okay, no, 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 that snipe was good, that snipe was good. <laughs> I got to uh, not get hit by the shock. Or not spin out from the shock. Oh, okay, okay, I grew big at just the right moment. I'm getting destroyed right now. Holy, this is why you don't pick the standard cart. And, yep, no items to take the shortcut, but that also means no one else is taking the shortcut, so it's still quite a tight pack. If I could take the shortcut, though, I would have been in a very good position here. Wreck everyone. Oh, I got wrecked. Two items, please. Oh, nice. Okay, that was so scary. Alright, I, th I think I have third place locked in. Second? Who'd I pass? Let's go! Wow, that was so unexpected! Snowland is the bagging track, but for the beginning of the track. Like, if you get good items at the end, you're not you're not really supposed to be able to pass people. Ugh, there's no fourth inkling. I guess I'm going back to the first one. 
Wiggler Bitty Buggy. Oh, that looks so hilarious. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we got Ribbon Road again. Honestly, I kind of want to play another race after this, just so we didn't play Ribbon Road twice in the same session. Wait, <laughs> that sentence made no sense. I, I like having some track variety, because otherwise... I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't need to explain myself. Okay, cool, got a trick. Got away from the person behind me a little bit. Oh, that was sketch, but that works, that works. That's just a safer version of taking the shortcut. Two bananas? Perfect. I actually like the coin item in first place when I'm not at 10 coins, because uh, they made an update, I think it was wave 4, it might have been wave 3, where they changed it so that the coin item gives you two coins. So it's basically a buff to the coin item because it was already the worst one. And like, don't get me wrong, the coin item is still the worst one. But when you're in, when you're front running, you can easily get to 10 coins by just uh, chaining all your coin items. And that way you don't have to go out of your way to get the coins, which is amazing. Because if you're at 10 coins, you can more easily stay in first. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, cool, cool. And just like last time, I have a big breakaway on Ribbon Road. Oh, it's, wait. Memory unlocked. I, I was going against a Tanuki Mario last time as well. For first place on Ribbon Road. Alright, cool. We got the boost panel. That was perfect. I get to maintain my first place because of it. That was a very fortunate timing of the blue shell. I was actually considering throwing my banana forward to run into it, but because of how curvy this track is, I, I was like, eh, I don't think I'll be able to do it. So I just, uh, I just cycled it for, uh, Super Horn. Okay, I, I'm gonna go around. Sometimes if I have, like, a guaranteed placement on lap 3, ugh, oh, I messed that up, then I like going around just so I don't risk my first place. Because, like, right now, if someone takes a shortcut, they're still not gonna beat me. I need, I need to get comboed here. Yep, we're good. And this just about proves it. If you want to do well online, you don't have to worry that much about your stats. Trying to look good can be so much more fun. Okay, Sunset Wilds, I mean, it was a DLC Wave 5 track, so I decided we're, we're gonna play this one anyway. Uh, this one will not count. Unless I get first place, then that will further my narrative of you can use any combo, but yeah, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna count this one. Uh, we're just playing to have fun, because DLC Wave 5, right? So let's take this shortcut. Oh, that off-road is so thick. I don't know how worth it that shortcut is. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure it's faster. It's just so difficult. Granted, I've never practiced it, so. Oh. So, so yeah, I'm gonna need to practice it before I really make a judgment on whether or not I want to do that in races. Because, oh, everyone's right behind me. It really is not a good practice to, um, like, try something and then be like, oh, this is too risky, I don't like it. Like, try it once and then just be like, all right, I guess I'm not doing it. Because you really need to give it a fair shot. Maybe it's really good. Maybe it's really consistent. You just haven't found the right setup for it. I just ran into my own banana. All right. Oh, cool. All right, but obviously if you have a star, that's super worth it. <sighs> ran into some off-road. Okay, where should I use a bullet? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss this item set anyway, so... I wonder if the bullet... No, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. For Mario Kart research... Uh... I feel like this might be a good spot. I don't know. <laughs> Just try it there. I feel like the first turn of a track... Did... What?! Okay. That sucks. That sucks. I'm never again. What the heck was that? Oh, I have a star and a banana! The game really gave me a star and banana on the same set? I did not even know that was possible. Wow, and I got two mushrooms. I'm probably not gonna win though. Yeah, ah, uh, just a little bit, just a little bit not close enough, but wow. <laughs> Star and banana. I'm gonna remember that one.